Hi, this is Priyanka from Hopping Chef. Let's crack some yummy dessert with our star ingredient, eggs. We start by first making the syrup, sugar syrup. We'll flavor it with some star anise. Take one cup of sugar, add the same quantity of water. Take a wooden spatula and let it bubble away. While that's bubbling, let's get our batter for Malpoa. Crack in two eggs. A quick tip, if you have your eggshell fallen in to your bowl, scrape it out with the same eggshell that you have it with you. Whip it up. At this point, add some star anise. For this recipe, I'm using little heavy cream to give it a rich flavor. One dollar per fit. Take two tablespoons of milk. Add in some flour. And whip to a smooth consistency. Once you've got a consistency of a pancake, add in some caster sugar. and give it a thorough mix. That's the consistency you're looking for. Now add a knob of butter to your pan. Usually malpoas are deep fried, but since we are a health conscious audience, let's use a little bit of butter and shallow fry it. A quick tip here, when you add bare butter to your pan, add in a little oil it stops the butter from browning. Meanwhile, we, our chachni is done. You require the chachni at the string of one. We'll turn that off. Transfer your chachni into a bowl. And set it aside for cooling. Now put in your batter in the shape of pancakes in your pan. Flip your pancakes or malpoa. As you can see it's got a lovely golden brown colour. Let the other side also get the same colour and then we can plate our yummy malpoa. Now let's start plating our yummy malpoas. Now let's add the sugar syrup that we had already made. Drizzle good amounts so that your malpoa is soft and sweet. Garnish with few nuts. And there you go, a yummy malpoa, a sweet treat. If you like this video, comment and subscribe to Hopping Chef.